to do, baby? I'm Aoi. He's Leo. We're Hikari Lounge. Today we're going to be reacting to Tokyo Revengers Episode 7. I hope that you guys enjoy. Go like and subscribe if you want. Now let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that caught my attention. Ooh. Remember this asshole? Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's so satisfying knowing what he looked like in the future compared to this. <laughs> yeah. No one asked for a travel in circus. Oops. Oh my god. Beat that trick. Beat that trick. Beat that trick. Sorry. How are you going to prevent it? How is it going to affect it? Like, you can't prevent it now at this point. They're literally about to throw down. Yeah. Like, no. How do you... What? Piss yourself? What, <laughs> what, do you do? what do you do? I don't know. Um, He'll probably get beat up and yell out some inspiring speeches. We'll see. <laughs> That's literally how we got out of this last one. Yeah. And the one before that, too. And the one before that. If this is going to be a consistency, it's going to be one, one of my, like, greatest annoyances about this show. You can't blame him, though. There's nothing else he can do. Oh, no. Learn how to pick up some nunchucks. I don't know those fine ass little apple eyes of yours. <laughs> Oy. Oh! How can he look down on you if he's shorter than you? I think he knew. <laughs> I think he could sense that the guy was looking down on him technically. Yeah. In the future, though. Oh, not, yeah, that's true. Day. Yeah. You know, I wonder what if he got killed instead of Draken? You're gonna regret Pachin. You're gonna regret this. But then he just get punched the shit out of by him, like an episode ago. Yeah, his group beat up, beat up, beat him up, and his girlfriend. No, that's not the dude. That's the dude's friend. Ooh, yes. Ugh. I'm sorry, those little twinkle toes feet is low key annoying me. I know that's how it's supposed to go, but still, when he does it, it infuriates me. <laughs> Oh? Didn't you say pause good? What are you talking? What are you doing? Uh, I have no clue. 
I think he, he just said he was all good, my guy. Right. Oh, there's that crueler side coming out. Because remember, Draken is his limiter. Why isn't Draken saying anything? I don't know. Oi. He's so chill compared to all of these cocky little fucks. It's great. Which makes him the scariest gang leader out of all of them. Exactly. Conniving, silent monsters are the scariest oh! of them. Oh! And this is exactly why. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right in the freaking head! Ah. It was right in the temple, too, and that's a sensitive area. Oh, my God, he's got brain damage. Oh, he's so messed up. <laughs> he hasn't lost yet. Oh, my God, we got <laughs> One by one. One by one. <laughs> like a Chinese fighting game. <laughs> Let's go. Like Tekken? Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh this was no! Under control. He's gonna get stabbed. He's gonna get stabbed. Okay, this is where Draken usually jumps in. Now it has to be someone else. Fuck! No, someone else. Well, get up, main character. Get Why up. Why are you calling no son? <clears throat> what? Oh. Oh, what? I thought I thought that was the trigger that he died. Yeah. I really want to know what Draken means by the true delinquent path. I think. Well, I think being a delinquent is more about freedom. Going against the grain, but not in a way that's like endangering other people outside of these gangs. Again, like societal norms. Yes. Pressures and such. But not only that, they just said never bring somebody else's family, someone that's out of the gang, into stuff like this. It has nothing to do with them. And the fact that they ended up going after like an innocent girl and their family is just disgusting so that's probably why you're like you're not true delinquents you got no yep. boundaries yeah this 
The conflict was just a trigger. There's more to this. Oh, shit. You're right. Oh, no. Don't run away. Pa. Oh, no. Was he the one that killed Draken? No, it didn't go through. No. But because of what he did, he lost control. No, no, don't assume yet. Just watch. Don't assume yet. Osana is dead? We're never meant to kill anyone, just beat them up. Not kill anyone. <laughs> nah, let him be there, dude. Let him be there. He chose he chose that path. Oh yep. my god. Yep, you're doing the right thing, my guy. Yeah. This was probably the trigger. Pa. You had it in the bag, Paul. Oh my god. You had it in the bag and then you told you to do that. Right. Damn man. Damn. I'm astounded. Imagine that's how he changes the future by passing out in front of Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's how he changes the future. And they have a deep because conversation. he's taking care of Takimichi, he doesn't ever meet the other bad guy. <laughs> that's, how, that's how he changes the future. Yeah, but it doesn't but it doesn't change the fact that Draken might die soon and we have no clue what from. Because if it's not from that conflict, which one? Oh. Yeah, you have a habit of doing that. Oh. He did get in a fight with Mikey. It was real. It was an internal conflict. Oh. That is the worst time to put in any comic relief. What the hell? Yeah, that was very poor taste. Very. And also Hannah. 
Hina just is a non-existent character at this point. I literally do not care about her whatsoever. Sendo. Oh. He does have nunchucks. <laughs> How did I guess that? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, that's funny. What? What the? Draken! Where's Mikey? Yeah, that would make it stink immediately. Hey. Hey. We have to remember they are he, they are kind of dragons kind of like the boss. <laughs> <So>. Yeah. <laughs> a year for attempted murder. But he's a child too. Oh damn. Yeah. No wonder he's just only in for a year. So it'd be like delinquent. Ah. Oh no! (laughs) (laughs) Oh. We're after him. Run after him, Takemichi. Run after him, Takemichi. Yeah. He's the trigger. Oh. This is great. They get to talk more than they would have in the past because it's Takemichi. Uh. Yeah, that is pretty bad timing. timing. This is the perfect timing to make up or or fight. (laughs) Which one would you rather see? To see for amusement? Fight. To see oh god, he feels like better. the girl in the middle now. It's like Takamichi's my friend. No, Takamichi's is my friend. Oh no. Oh no. Bean pole. <laughs> um. Stop the violence. (laughs) (laughs) 
Maybe if you kiss one of the homies, it will all go away. Uh, bike? No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? <laughs> is that a Game Boy? What the? A fishing pole, a tennis. <laughs> you already destroyed our main character's memory. <laughs> That's all good. Oh. 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 Uh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? No way! I gotta, I gotta take back. I gotta look back. I gotta look back over time. My gosh, that came out of nowhere. Takemichi's gonna grow <laughs> a pair against people he has no chance of beating. <laughs> oh he turned Super <laughs> Saiyan too. That's what makes it funnier. <laughs> This part <laughs> cut the shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. The what are you gonna do? Get his ass beaten? Maybe like. <laughs> right. <laughs> I I, I can't wait for the next of a episode. Old man, right there. <laughs> he was probably like, "You little ass hat." Someone. I don't think there's after credits. It's gonna be crazy because the way it's progressing, imagine he actually becomes one of the higher ups of the Tolman group. I mean assuming the Tolman group still remains. I mean, that's what is alluring to in the end then. Like what happened? Does he does his future self no longer become a deadbeat? I don't that know. Never fulfills any of his wishes. Or <laughs> he turns into one of the lead members of a criminal organization. <laughs> Probably. We'll see. Maybe that's how he'll be able to keep them in line, where he's sort of the neutral. Yeah. You know how... Sounds insane. Yeah. And Sendo would be... Maybe he can reverse Sendo's death. I don't know. I wish. Maybe. Because Sendo's one of the only actual friends out of those group that we care... That I care about, at least. Yeah. Um, if you care about Sendo. Yeah. But... We'll see. The, because... they friends. I have no clue where the story is going to be going. Like, at all. Well, at least now we know that the internal conflict between Tolman was actually true. And the trigger was Osanai and Pa. <laughs> the stabbing. And that was crazy in its own self. <laughs> that they came out of left one, field. Yeah, they did a reverse Uno where it was like, Dragon's gonna die, psych, it's Osanai getting stabbed. <laughs> no wonder he was scared shitless after. Yeah, because he literally led to... I'm guessing, well, assuming Pa or uh, Mikey and Draken's fight, that would have broken them up even further. Yeah. Everything else unfold. Wow. But yeah, episode seven of Tokyo Revengers. Pretty good. Can't wait for the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.